Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contact. We will be also implementing latching. So let's start. Example 8. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be still on. So in this example, we have one input that is switch 1. When it is turned on, all the four motors turn on. And when switch 1 is turned off, all the four motors should have been turned off but it remain on. So to attain to, uh, to, for motors to be on, we will be using latching. So we will be also using a memory bit that will be used to turn on motors and let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram and implement latching. So this is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags here. default tag table and let's set the first input that is switch 1 and then we have four motors so motor 1 I will change the address to Q0.0 .0 as it is an out it is an output so I will be started with Q that is Q0.0 .0. and then I will click on here and then drag it to here so motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be automatically fetched. So I will minimize this and then I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So for switch 1 I will insert a normally open contact here. And then I will insert a coil. So this normally open contact will be switch 1 and then this coil will be a memory bit. So I will insert address as M0.0 and then I will latch it here. So I will open the branch here and then insert a normally open contact and then close. So I will assign address to it as M0.0. So when switch 1 is on, M0.0 .0 gets on and when it switch 1 is turned off M0.0 .0 still remains on. So we will use this M0.0 .0 for motors. So I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So there will be four coils. I will open the branch coil, open the branch, then a coil and then again I will open the branch and then coil. So this normally open contact will be M0.0 .0 and the coils will be for motors. So first one is motor 1, then motor 2, and then motor 3, and then it will be motor 4. So what happens is that when switch 1 is turned on, M0.0 .0 gets on and when M0.0 .0 gets on, motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be turned on. And when switch 1 gets off, M0.0 .0 remains on due to latching and when it remains on, it will also make motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 to remain on. So let's move to the simulation. Let's start the simulation here. After that, I will start CPU 
then OK. And then I will click on this monitoring on and off. And then I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project. Create. Let's wait for creating the project. Let's click here. It's still processing. Let's click here and then click on simulation table and click on simulation table one. And then Right click here and then load project tags. So all the uh, tags are being exported here. Now we can start the simulation. So, when I turn on switch 1, this M0.0 .0 gets on and when it gets on, the motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 gets on. As you can see also here, when switch 1 is true, tag 1 gets true and which in turn turns motor 1, motor 3, motor 4 and motor all true. And then, when I turn off switch 1, as you can see here, M0.0 .0 still remains on, either if switch 1 is off. Switch 1 is off here, as you can see, the current does not flow through it, but the current flows through this, through latching, it's because of latching, M0.0 .0 remains on. And when it is on, the current flows through it, and motor 1, 2, 3, and 4 all are on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.